Hello everyone, it's Eddie here at Eddie Makes Art, and today um, I'm going to try and fix some things or enhance some things or prints that I um, made recently, but I need a little something more. So um, I've got my big gel plate here. This is an 8x10. I'm picking off these little things here so they don't get into my print. And then I have my 5x7 here um, in case I want to use it as a palette. This guy has some uh, gold paint on it, but it's dry. I'm not going to worry about that right now. Once in a while, what I do is I will have a gel plate session. I'll let the paint on this 5x7 build up as I'm using, you know, the brayer and, and using it as a palette and transferring it over to the big plate. And then at the end of the session, I will lay down some uh, matte medium. Usually the, the, the uh, acrylic medium in the gloss gel by... U.S. Art Supply, and I will, you know, put some paper down and then pick that up, and they turn into some pretty, pretty cool prints. I'm trying to see if I have the one that I... There is one that I made, and I put onto black paper cardstock, and uh, as soon as I can remember where I put it, I will show you. So, um, he, these are the prints. Um, so let's see if we can save any of these with just some new stencils. And so I'm going to just flip through the prints that I have that I've picked out. And, um, you know, some of them aren't like great, spectacular. This did not come out as I had hoped. Um, I think this was done toward the end of a long session of, of gel printing, and I was already kind of tired. Uh, same with this one. It's a little intense, but I think we can, I think we can tone it down and make it something better. Um, this one was, I was practicing uh, transferring um, the text from book pages onto my gel plate, and it's not too bad. It uh, really came out pretty legibly. Um, and then there's some other stuff in the background from other prints, you know, some build up. Um, but I like the, the kind of aged look that gives it, but it's still a little flat. So we'll see what we can do with that one. I may not get to all of these, but we're going to, we'll sift through and see what we can get done. Um, this one was actually, um, I did a couple of prints and then I needed to clean off the larger plate. So I picked it up, I think with. I want to say it was the titanium or the parchment by Basics Acrylic. I picked it up with that. And I have this really cool background. You can even see there's um, there's some gold in there and there's some um, rusty reds. I see some uh, more gold, blues, greens. So, you know, it's a cool background, but it, it definitely needs more. So we'll work on that one. Uh, this one I was also working on... Um, image transfer and this is from um, a sheet of music on a jelly plate that was already you know a little grungy that's why I got all these cool marks through here and I believe I picked this up with doo -doo -doo -doo, transparent red iron oxide by golden fluid um, by golden the fluid acrylic and you see that color, I believe that is the color here. Pretty sure. I have to start writing this stuff down. I know Patricia at PNM Artist is watching this going, you gotta write that stuff down. So you remember. And I'm gonna practice working on that one. So here we are, there's another one. Same thing, um, this is another version of this book, book page um, session. Um, I don't mind those blobs. There are some printers who do um, try to avoid them, but I, I honestly, if, if I mean, there are times I intentionally try to get it so there's no spots like that, but it doesn't always work, and sometimes I don't mind it. Um, and then this print, this is a stencil from um, Paula Keen. She's a designer for PM Artist Studios. Um, and I love the grungy edge I got with this. I think this was another kind of cleanup sort of deal. Um, but I got some copper in there. I've got reds and yellows. I've got some gold. 
um, and then this, and I like it, but it needs a little bit more, so maybe we can work on that. And the two stencils I've chosen are from PM Artist Studio. Uh, the first one is Stars All Lit Up. This one is the 8x10 size, but I believe they also come in two other sizes. Um, but because I only have the 8x10 plate, I'm not, I, you know, I don't want to get anything bigger. And with this one, I thought it would make more sense for me to have the 8x10 as opposed to a 5x7. Um, and this is what they, what they send with, with this stencil. You can see what the design is like. Here's the stencil. It's pretty cool. I love it. If you've watched any of um, PM Artist live streams recently, you've seen... Uh, Patricia and Mariah using this stencil for different things. Um, and then the next one is Aqueous Effervescence Broken. This is an updated version of their original Aqueous. Um, at the moment, it's only available to um, special members of their uh, PM Artist Studio website. Um, when you reach the Loverly, when you uh, sign up for the Loverly package or the Loverly level of membership, you um, get access to an exclusive stencil for the first eight weeks that it's out. So only those people who signed up for that program will get um, access to this. Um, so for, depending on when I upload this video, there's gonna be about six or seven weeks left for um, the Loverly members to get this at a discount plus before the general public gets access to it. Um, and this particular one is the first one they're doing like that. And this is the, um, like I said, it's an it's a updated version of the Aqueous stencil they had. And I got this one too in the eight and a half or the eight by 10. Gotta be careful. And that's the other thing. These are made from Upo, but with any stencil, when you have small delicate features like these lines and some of these circles, you have to be very careful when you're pulling up your stencil or just handling it or storing it um, or cleaning it. This is a stencil that I will clean after every session um, because it's got so many little intricate nooks and crannies that you want to get in there and really um, keep those clean because otherwise it's you're really going to lose the design on um, on your plate. All right, so what is the first one we want to do? And I didn't come into this with a specific plan. I just wanted to fix these with um, the stencils I have. All right, we can start with this one. So in here, I've got copper and there's some of that parchment in there, I think, and white and there's I think this is a metallic gray paint, the Liquitex. Um, so even some black there. So what we could do is let's see which stencil looks best over here. We could do a, put the stencil down on the plate, get some paint on there and um, do an, transfer it to this. Um, another way you could transfer this is if you want to just take uh, your roller and just go over the stencil right over the um, print. I'd rather not do that because I tend to make a mess when I do that and I get really frustrated. So we're not going to do that technique today. Um, about the stars. It could be as simple as some beautiful stars. So... I mean, and you have to remember this white space is, is not going to be there. All you're going to see is the little stars all over your print. Um, so, shall we do stars or bubbles? Bubbles. You know what? I want to do bubbles. Let's do these. And let's see. Let's do a lighter color maybe contrast all that busyness in the back and then we can kind of tone this down so let me see because we have copper we could do a blue 
How do we feel about a blue? This is manganese phthalo. It's a transparent, so it won't kill everything in the back, and you'll be able to see, but it'll give us some color. Um, there's regular phthalo blue. There's turquoise, which may go nicely with the, the parchment and the copper. You could always do that. Um, set this one as a maybe. Have yellow. There's some greens. I think that's just too dark. I don't want to do a red. Or do I? Red bubbles. Maybe. Perhaps. I have green. I have the whites. Gold. I don't want to, I don't think I want to do a metallic. I have light blue. Hmm. This is a an opaque light blue permanent from Liquitex in the basics line. Um, I think maybe we can make this work. Let's give it a shot. So I think what we're gonna do first is Let's lay down some paint, because what we're gonna do is we're going to lay down paint, put this, the stencil down, pick up whatever is, is, is showing with some tissue, and then what's left behind is what I will transfer to that image. That's the goal, let's see if, if it happens. Okay, give me a little blue here, that should be enough, oh. All right, bam, bam. But not enough paint, I knew that. Let's get a little bit more in here. Okay. No worries, that's uh, easily fixed if you do it early enough in your process. I'm just trying to cover much of the plate make sure it's as even as possible put this on here and just wipe that off like i said i want to build the grunge on there all right let's lay down our stencil nice and neatly okay now try to press it down a little bit here and there on the solid bits and then i'm gonna grab a piece of tissue this is wet strength tissue, so it's uh, good for these, for mixed media. All right, and I need my napkin. So I'm gonna go over this with the napkin nice and gently because we don't want to move the stencil, but you want to get down into those nooks and crannies. So that's all that's left behind is the reverse of the stencil, and that's what we're going to put down on the, um, that print. So you just gently rub, get into those little areas as best you can. And we can lift here and see. There's still more that we can pick up. I'm going to give this just a little go around one more time. And don't forget your edges. I really hope this blue works. I do like the light blue. Um, this particular shade. Okay, I think we're gonna get as much up as we can. And look at that. That's a great print right there. And it's great, a great background to build on. So I'm gonna just get to set that aside. And then we're gonna lift this stencil, set this aside. We're gonna do this quickly because I do not want this to dry on me. Otherwise, we'll have to let it wait. We have to let it dry and pull it with a different color, but I don't wanna do that. Okay, I really am gonna keep my fingers crossed that this transfers. And what I'm using now is called a Baron. And this particular one is made by Anthony Cody, who has a shop 
um, Cody Woodcrafts on Etsy. And he makes these by hand with um, found wood, salvaged wood. I believe this one is big leaf maple with uh, abalone inlay. And um, he made this for me. Um, he's out of, I want to say it's Seattle. He's on the west, in the northern part of the west coast. Um, and he not only does barons, he does bowls. I believe he does urns and some other things. The barons come in different sizes depending on um, the size of your hand. Um, so yeah, hit him up on Etsy. I'll, I'll link him down below. But this saves your hand from, you know, getting too dried up from smushing the paper around. We'll see here, there's a couple of bubbles. I think see if we can do it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we, can get, we even have more to give. All right, see, I think that helped a lot. That really helped a lot. All right, so I'm happy with that. We're gonna, I'm gonna put this aside, let it dry. Um, I'll probably work on that some more in the future. Um, we have this lovely goopy goopy on here, but we're gonna leave it there. That's gonna dry, it's pretty dry anyway. And um, let's see, let's see if we can use that one on another of our prints. Now, we do have this one that's got the blue in it. Maybe we can do something a little different with this one. Maybe go darker and do, we could do a phthalo green. Hmm. It's transparent, it's semi-transparent, um, but it, it, it's powerful. So I, I want to be careful. I have magenta. There's gold in here too. We could do the gold. Let's do gold. How about that? Okay. But this time I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Hmm. Should I do that? Yeah, you know, I think I'm going to lay the stencil down and paint over and put the paint over it and um, take the stencil off and, and pick up the, the print from the gel plate with this print. The paint from the gel plate to that. Okay. So let's go this side up. And when you're putting paint onto a stencil or through a stencil onto your gel plate, um, Patricia explained to us at PM Artist Studio, Patricia, that's the P, that it's best to make sure you have enough paint so it gets into all the nooks and crannies here because you don't want to have not enough paint because your paper will stick and then and, and your design won't be crisp and you'll be disappointed. So make sure there's enough paint on here. So we're going to do, is it gold? Did we say gold? Where is my gold? There it is. This is a uh, standard series from Amsterdam. Deep gold. Number 803. All right. Um, I do want to get a piece of paper to put the stencil down on and get that excess off. Um, here's my paper. I put it right there. And then that way, I can save that paint and make another design. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Hit it with the gold. I'm just gonna go straight across. Get a little in here, just in case. I'm just gonna go slowly. Take my time. Get it into the places it needs to go. I love that sound. <laughs> I'm weird. I have a feeling I didn't put enough. However, 
I think it's enough, but you'll see. All right, I'm gonna put the rest of that on here. Set my braid to the side. I'm gonna flip. Let me take this carefully. Flip this stencil onto a sheet of paper. So we can pick up that paint on here. And then put this print down. I'm gonna flip the plate over. I think Quirky Queens or Kirsten told me about this trick. Make sure you line up your print if you don't have one of those little corner guides, which honestly 50 bucks for a little corner plastic thing is just really ridiculous. I considered buying one, but nope. Okay, I'd rather invest in nice paints than, you know, a corner square or upper. I'm sure some people love it and use it all the time, but I just, I don't think it's necessary for what I do. Make sure everything is nice and flat. I think this is gonna look really good. You wanna take a look at it? I'm gonna flip it over. Yeah, that that's pretty cool. I hope you can see that. Okay. I'm going to take a peek in a second and see if we can lift it. Otherwise, we'll let it dry and come back to it. Um, let me set this over here. And let's get this paint off of the stencil. So I don't um, leave it all sticky-icky. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to run my brayer over it. Gently, but firmly. And push it down. There we go. Oh, that's the second piece. Let's see. I was going to say. Okay. Now. So gentle I'm going. Like some of the paper already started to stick. And if I'd left it down any longer, this would have been a nightmare for me. But. So that, that's another thing with gel printing is timing, speed. So like, you know, yeah, I kind of go into it with a plan, but um, not always, but it's not like, but you always want to make sure that you're, you're timing things because and you're keeping an eye on things because, you know, like you see how this started to pull up on the paper. You know, so if I left it down maybe even 30 seconds longer, I would have had to just take this to the sink and soak it. Um, there's only like a little bit of paper right here. Okay, so let's set this aside to dry. And let's see if this is ready to pick up. I'm gonna give it another minute. Maybe 30 seconds is all it needs. And let's reveal. Wow. Now that one, compared to this. So that stencil, that's paint through the stencil with nothing on the plate. And then we lift it with the print. And then this is a stencil that we put paint down on the plate, put the stencil on top, lifted it with tissue, and then the remaining print when we lifted the stencil is what we have on here. I hope that makes sense. It took me a while to understand, you know, what's it, what is what, but I think that makes sense. So this turned out stunning. And you can see it's co so cool because you can see, you know, the words behind it. And like the blobs of blue are kind of pushed back a little bit, but they're still there. I love it. Love it. Now look at all that good stuff that's left on there. That would be for, um, we can do a pull with that. And let's see if there's something in our pile that we could maybe pull it out with. Mm -hmm. No. 
So this one. Hmm. Let's do that. Maybe we'll do I have the red iron oxide. I also have the gold. Maybe we'll use this here. This is the golden golden uh, interference gold. Fine. So put in a thin layer of this on. Or you know, a good layer, not to you know, don't overdo it, but don't be stingy. And then we'll pick this up. You know what I'm gonna do? If I were smart, I would go ahead and put this under here. So when I flip it, it's already there. Mm, who's honking? Stop honking the horn. It's disturbing me. Okay, let's see here. I think that's a little more. Just for Ooh, that is, this is a beautiful paint. It's, you know, the price is a little up there. That's why I got that tiny little bottle. So I use it sparingly. Um, but it's it's a beautiful, beautiful paint. And they come in different colors. And I forgot what I watched. I think it was Froyle's. One of Froyle's uh, most recent videos where she put the different colors of the this, this series of the golden paints and she put them down on her plate. I forgot, I think she did it with, she had a mask or something on there, but she put all the different colors on the plate, she mixed them all up and then she picked it up with black paper. Uh, I think it was black paper, it was either tissue or regular paper, but oh my God, it was so cool because it, um, it just, it just, because mostly these paints when you, pour them they look white or like ivory but once on a once they're on a dark background man they look awesome really vibrant and very cool all right keeping my fingers crossed for this one okay let's see Ooh, I like that. That's great. It, it pushed some of the red down, some of the orange down. Um, and, and it's got the designs from the stencil. It's not overwhelming. There's bits and pieces of blue. And you can still see some of the music. In, you can still see the music in the back. I like that. Let's set that to the side. I need a sip of water. All right, we've got this. I think we can go on to the next stencil. And the next stencil is the stars. And how do we want to approach that? Let's try this guy. This one's weird. I know. When I say it's weird, it's weird because I like weird stuff. But, um, hmm. I want to kind of push it back. Huh. Let me think about this one. So, put the, the paper, if we put the paint down and then the stencil, and then we pick it up with the paint, what we're left with is um, open stars with the color of the paint as the background. And if we pick it up with this, then what we get is the open stars, meaning there's the stars with no paint. So you can see the background of this. And then the rest is the paint we put down on the plate, which I don't mind, but I need to find out, I need to figure out a paint to put on here. Something semi-transparent. We could do. We could do. Hmm. I have a transparent red. Nah. 
Do yellow. Could go crazy and do yellow. Hmm. I have the turquoise out. I have this other red. The green. Yeah. I'm wondering if we just go. Hmm. Just do white. Sorry, I'm trying to fix all this over here. I have some paints over here too. No, not a black. Not purple, okay. Hmm. Dioxazine purple. But it's an opaque. There's copper. Now remember, the, the reason I'm having trouble picking out a color is because it's going to be the main color once we get it down um, onto the plate. And the stars is what's going to show this background. So the question is, do we want to kill? How much of the background do we want to kill? Now I have some other... This other paint that I got from clearance at Blix and it's a Vajayo acrylic gouache uh, extra fine it's a matte acrylic color this is bronze and I have a gold but this bronze is pretty dark I don't know if that'll work Let's say we shy away from the gold hmm I'm going to do phthalo blue. I just have a feeling that the, oh, Prussian blue, I'm sorry, Prussian blue, because I think it's transparent enough where it's not going to kill the image behind it, but it's strong enough where it's going to make it not so loud. That's my thought process. Let's try it. So, and yeah, I know there's gold on here. I'm fine with it. It just adds a little more something to um, the next print. All right, we uh, phthalo blue. Oh, I'm sorry, Prussian blue. Right, I don't want to get too too much on here because then you're when you are trying to pick up the paint, the stencil um, will start moving around because of all the paint underneath. my back wasn't so terrible, I would stand up to do this, but I can stand up for maybe five minutes and then the back starts to scream at me. It's angry and then I have to sit down. All right, let's make some cool. Da, 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 da. Here we go. All right, stop talking and get this down. And we've got tissue here. You know what, I'm gonna use this tissue from the aqueous stencil to pick up this blue. Hmm. Okay, this is it's easy if you do it the circular motions on, with this stencil. This will be a fun print when you, the, the tissue here, when we pull that off, that should be cool. so you can see it better. I love that. That's a good good start. Now, let's get our print that we want to use under here. Let me just 
straighten it up, flatten it out a little bit. Flip it over. Senor Baron. Okay. I hope I hope this works. And I'll do my best to link um, the products I've used in the description box. If I forget, as always, just let me know in the comments. I'm happy to give you a link if I have it. Um, or if I can find it, and if not, I can help direct you to the best place to find it. Um, let's see, I'm gonna put it in a little corner. Um, no, I think I'm gonna let this maybe marinate a minute because I may not have used enough paint. I think, I think that is the case here. But let's see, I'll we'll try this corner. It's not terrible, and I kind of like what I'm seeing. Ooh, that's awesome. Now I picked up the gold. Look at this. That is fun. So you got your the gold here, there's still some of that light blue. And you got the, the stars here showing the background, and you can still see colors in the background, but this made it really, really much cooler. All right, now, stencil with the blue. Let's see if I'm getting paint off here, I doubt it. Nope. Um, what's our, another print we have? I think this one with Paula's. Um, stencil on it. And we can do the stars. We can do the stars. Should we do that same technique? Hmm. I think we're going to do that. And um, but let's first pick up a paint. Sh you know, we could do. Let's do the phthalo blue again. I'm going to stick with that because I feel like. The phthalo is going to work really well with these colors. And I put it away and now I can't find it. Here it is. Okay. And I'm going to try and turn the stencil the other way so that we get a better, um, a different, you know, layout. I'm not trying to match up the stars like I had on the first one. All right, I'll do two here and I'll do two here. Just, just to be safe. Oh, okay. Oh, see, this is when I when I rush. This is what happens. So, fingies to the rescue. I know there's at least two of you out there screaming, oh, "It's too much paint!" Oh well, this is how we learn, though, right? Stencil down. Now, but this time, I'm going to put the paper on here and pick up the star, just the stars. So let's see here. And that's why I made sure I had enough paint so that I could get the. Um, So the stars could come through and I could pick them up on this print. I think it's working. Okay, look at that. That is killer. Yes, I like that. 
That's awesome. I think uh, let's pick up the rest of this onto this green one here. Okay, so stencil here. I'm pick up all this. It's going to kill it, but that's okay. Thing about gel printing, though, that you'll hear a lot of gel printers say is it's about the layers. And it's true, you know. I mean, there's some prints I've pulled where it doesn't have a lot of layers, but I still really love it. Um, but yeah, layers um, make a print even more fabulous. Ta -da, ta -da, ta -da. Ooh, that's cool. There's so much going on. It's dark, yeah, but I kind of like it. Get a, you still got some gold that came up. Oh, that's great. Awesome. I'm going to set this aside and let's take a look at the prints. All right, so this is one that had all that green in the background. And then we have this one that we pulled just now. And it's got the, um, the stencil here in the background by Paula Keene from uh, PM Artist Studio. Um, here, I don't, before I forget, let me clean off this pencil onto a sheet of paper. So much paint we get off here. I'm sure for this, I should use this. This is another stencil that should be cleaned um, after every session because you don't want, so otherwise you'll, with all the paint on there, you will lose the detail in the stars. Yippee Kaye! Look at that. It's another print you could use for something. Um, this is the tissue that we pulled off from a couple of the uh, stencils. There's this one. Remember, this was all black and gray, and um, I think it was magenta in there and pink, and it's kind of weird, but um, we did the stars over it and. Um, up some of the gold from previous prints and then this one it's a work in progress but i still like it it's got the um the music in the background we picked up the um with the golden fine iridescent we picked up the the print that was already on the plate which was from the aqueous stencil this was when we cleaned off the aqueous stencil um Sorry about that. Okay. And then this is the one that um, has the print in the background. And we did the aqueous in gold. And then this one had the copper and gray and uh, parchment background. We picked this up with the light blue. Or we, we, we got the stencil on in here with the, in the light blue paint. Um, okay. Uh, those are all the ones. There's only one we didn't do. So I think we did a pretty good job. Pretty, pretty good job. Look at this. That's, this is really cool. All right. Now, don't forget, two new stencils we used today, you can find at PM Artist Studio. It's pmartiststudio.com. They have a brand new website that just launched, and um, they have all sorts of great stuff. And besides these, they also have, besides stencils and masks, they also have uh, foam stamps. This is one that I got. I got several and they're awesome. They work really, really well. Um, then um, you can follow them on Instagram. They're on Facebook. I'll, I'll tag, I'll link their group down below, the mixed media group on Facebook. They're on Instagram, Pinterest, and YouTube. They do a live stream um, where they do ever talk about everything from art to just, you know, things in general and what's going on and, and our uh, makers group and different um, prompts that we put out every month um, to help get your creative juices flowing and to push you into a into doing a little bit more than normal. Not more, but something different or something that you're not comfortable with. Um, it's a very supportive group. Um, so I'll link all of this below. I hope you enjoyed 
um, a little gel plating session today. I did, and I think uh, we did a good job saving some of these prints. Thanks again, and I will see you very soon.